The Users Workspace is where you add usernames, passwords, and permission levels for the users who will access your apps. Permission levels are based on roles. Roles can be assigned for four levels, app, page, section, and field. At each level, the roles control the operations a user is allowed to carry out. Depending on the level, these include admin, create, read, update, and delete operations. The user's workspace has fields to input user information, a main grid showing existing users, page navigation buttons in the footer, and tool buttons in the header. When you install the Lianja App Builder, one user is already created, the admin user, with the same password, admin. You don't need to use these login details when you start the App Builder, you will be logged in automatically. But you do need them to log into the Lianja App Center, or when you log out of the App Builder and want to log in again. To change the admin password, click on the grid row to select the admin user and enter the new password in the password field. You can see the password as you type it, but only its cryptographic key will be displayed in the user's grid and stored in the Sysrol system table. Click Update to save your change. To add a new user, enter the domain as star, we'll cover domains in the Anja web client documentation, and then the username, password, optional email address, and the roles. Leaving the roles field blank or entering a star gives the user all roles. Multiple roles should be comma separated. Click Add to create the new user. Users can be deleted by selecting them in the grid and clicking Delete. The Refresh button is used to reread the Sysrol system table and refresh the display and the clear button to deselect a selected user. So let's have a look at the roles in action. I've added a few users, Harry, who works in HR and has the HR role, Ricky, who's in reception with the reception role, and Sally, who works in sales and has the sales role. I'm going to use these roles to define the operations allowed by users in my app. I've created an app called Role Demo, and added three pages, customers, HR, and orders. I've then set different read roles to restrict who can see each page. Double click on the page header or click the cogs icon to access the page attributes and then scroll down to permissions and roles. As well as the read roles, you can also restrict the creation updating and deletion of data on the whole page. In each case, enter the name of the role and if you want to use multiple roles, separate them with a comma. Remember, unless a user has a star or an empty roles field in the user's workspace grid, giving them all roles, they will need one of the listed roles to be able to carry out that operation. So both sales and HR can see the customers page. Only HR can see the HR page. And only sales can see the orders page. One more thing before I test the app as another user. I need to make sure the app is published so that it appears in the App Builder home workspace. This is done through the app settings. This is also where the app's tile is configured. Now I can close the app and log in as Sally from Sales. With the sales role, Sally can see the customers and orders pages, but not the HR page.
And if I log in as Harry from HR, I can only see the customers and the HR pages. Back in the development view. The page, as I said earlier, is only one of the levels where permission roles can be set. We can refine them through sections right down to fields. Double click on the section header or click on the cog icon to access the section attributes and then scroll down to permissions and roles. I'm only allowing users with the sales role to delete customers. Now double click on the customer ID field, looking at the field attributes and again scroll down. I've protected this important field and say that only users with the sales role will be able to update it. Back to being Harry from HR. Remember Harry doesn't have the sales role. If I try to delete the record, a message is displayed explaining why the record cannot be deleted. And if I click Edit, the Customer ID field is greyed out and cannot be updated. So we've seen page, section and field level roles. That just leaves app level roles. Back in Development View, we access the App Settings and scroll down again to Permissions and Roles. Admin roles restrict who can modify or delete the app itself and apply to developers. We also have the familiar Create, Update and Delete roles, this time applying to data records across the whole app. And if I assign any Read roles, I can hide the entire app from any user who doesn't have that role. Let's limit this app to those with the Sales or HR role. This time, let's log in as Ricky, who only has the reception role. And the Roles Demo app is not available. So, use the Users Workspace to add your users and set their roles, controlling their permissions at app, page, section and field level in your apps.